You remember that old saying that it's not about what you know, but who you know? Well guys, it's kinda true, especially as it pertains to trying to grow your business, but let's be honest. You can have a million connections, but if it's all really surface level, then what's the point? You wanna start thinking about the quality versus the quantity. And also, we super busy. I don't know about y'all, but over here in entrepreneurship land, it's super busy, so who has time to really take care and maintain a thousand relationships and friendships? I know I don't, and we're gonna talk about it today. Hey guys, and welcome back to Raising the Ball Podcast, where we dive into the strategies and the insights to help event professionals such as yourself grow their business. I'm your girl, Precious Stevens of the Posh Academy, and today I wanna kinda turn the tables a little bit. We've been talking a lot about networking if you've been watching the podcast over the past month. And quite frankly, it's two sides to the story, right? So for today, guys, I wanna get real for a little bit because at the end of the day, I don't want you guys thinking that more connections really equate to more success because that may not always be the case. So we're gonna break down why spreading yourself too thin can actually hurt you in your business. And I wanna help you focus your efforts for a much bigger payoff. All right guys, so let's kind of just jump right into it. And first thing is I'm gonna tell you throughout my entire journey of entrepreneurship and the draping game, I wasn't one to really network and do a lot of collaborating. And the reason being is because for one, I had to deal with a lot of internal stuff myself. It's like internal warfare. When you're going through mindset shifting and all these things, like you really have to deal with some things on your own to really understand who you even are. Every who I thought I was up until a few years ago is not realistically who I am. And going through those discovery moments, like you're not sure of yourself. So when you enter a room or you enter a space, all of the doubt creep in, all of these things creep in and it makes you feel as if one, you don't even belong. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is how I felt in the very beginning stages of my entrepreneurship. Coming from, you know, my backstory and my past, I've shared with you guys, learning this new way of life, to some degree, sometimes you feel as if you don't even deserve it, right? So dealing with all this stuff, I was unsure of, one, who I need to connect with, and two, why am I even connecting with these people? Because from the rough streets of Baltimore, you gotta be real careful in who you you allow in your space and bringing that and adapting that into entrepreneurship I can honestly say for one it kept me out of a lot of trouble <laughs> I can honestly say that but the downside guys is that you know you plateau out because you only have your, your, your resources are limited or your knowledge is limited so realistically in 2024 I intentionally went into this year being uh, that was my, my main goal was just networking and collaborating because I've done everything else pretty much that I've wanted to do. And I already know the power that I have. So now you have to be able to trust yourself full circle and allow yourself to make these kind of connections and know that you ultimately are doing the right thing. But you definitely should have some kind of strategy in mind and it should be in alignment with your goals and your core values. One thing I can say that I feel super comfortable about collaborating and networking with people now, as I'm clear on my mission, I'm clear on what it is that I wanna do. So I will say a very quick no before I say a slow yes. If I gotta think about it or I get a gut feeling in my belly that doesn't feel like it's something that I need to partake in, I just won't partake in it. And I don't get you know baffled by the names and the numbers because at the end of the day that doesn't that doesn't matter to me that's that's not important to me so a lot of things that i'm gonna talk to you guys about in your journey of networking and collaborating it's really focusing on the quality of people that you are exposed to and allowing your space rather than the the quantity so guys a shift that made me realize that i was one ready to start networking and collaborating is I just learned to trust my decisions. And even in, when I was testing the waters a little bit, like in the previous years, i made sound decisions that at the time I wasn't too sure of. Like I would collaborate or network with someone that was, you know, quote to be someone you should network with or rub elbows as they say. And I would cut these relationships off because they wasn't, it wasn't a beneficial situation to me. It wasn't in alignment with my goals and it just didn't feel right. And then when you see things play out, you learn to just trust your own decisions. And now being so clear 
on where I want to go and so clear on who I serve and how I serve them and being so clear on the actual path to my end game. I am intentionally connecting with people that I know either they can help me in some capacity and vice versa, I can help them. So the main thing about building relationships is I always want it to be a win-win. And if it's not a win-win, it's like, what is, what's really the point? So shifting into gears into where I am now, I, I'm excited. I'm super excited because I've been able to collaborate and network with a few people in this year of 2024, and it has proven to be great decisions. So when you start to do small things, like, you know, you trust yourself a little bit and then it pans out and, you know, you kind of start going further and full throttle. That's all I do now is I seek opportunity or people that's directly attached to my next level because that's the only thing stopping me from getting there. So guys, some of the things that actually have been happening with me and in my business since I've made this adjustment and made this shift is just one, being enriched with healthy relationships. I talk about it all the time. I talk about partnering with people that's just as passionate as you, but also see things from a different perspective. I am a very tunnel vision type of individual. Sometimes you need different perspectives to kind of see things full circle. So I love being able to partner with people that is, they're like gurus or experts in their own right, but in fields directly connected to things I need, like someone that's an expert in marketing, someone that's an expert in content, someone that's an expert in finance. These are things that that is not my cup of tea. <laughs> I can't sit here and write a book on those topics. However, do I need those um, different aspects and elements for me to grow and get to the next level? Absolutely. So just being in the space for one and then realizing that the space within itself is enriched. Nine times out of 10, when you come across great people to network with, guess what? they're connected with other great people to network with. And then you become a part of a community, you become a part of a collab. And that is actually where the magic happens. And on one end, I'm not gonna lie, on one end, sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I would have been did this. But then being totally honest, I'm glad I didn't because I wasn't ready. Because I would go into it apprehensive and not really just there for whatever the opportunity allow. So I'm glad that I kind of am doing it in this season because I'm, I'm, I'm still working on myself, y'all. Don't talk about me. You should be working on yourself too. But as I work on myself and do the, the professional and the personal development, I love this person that I am becoming. I love this person that is, is being connected to the people that I'm being connected to and being able to have the opportunities that are coming my way. And the greatest thing of all, like I said, is just realizing that I'm ready. So whatever comes, I really feel like in this moment, I am ready for whatever opportunity come because you can, you know, as they say, they say, be careful what you wish for. It's funny because a, 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 a friend of mine, you know, we would have these things that we want to happen in our business and then it would happen and then you realize that you are not ready for the moment so the main thing is like i love that uh just doing the work on myself and making sure that i show up present that i show up valuable to whoever i'm trying to connect with i want to be able to give value as well so that's the main thing for me i think that has awarded the opportunities coming my way being able to connect with seven and eight figure earners like I would have I would have never thought most people I knew back home, you know, they probably they five figure earners, right? And that was the normal. So that to have these kind of conversations and these kind of connections is refreshing. And it's just a, a, a indication that I am on the right path. So guys, the key to today's podcast really is just showing you that it's going to be uncomfortable. And when it gets uncomfortable, it's like you're on the brink of something great. But realistically, you are only going to be able to get yourself but so far. I being uncomfortable jumping into the waters of entrepreneurship by myself, but then also now tapping into networking and collaborating was probably one of the best decisions I've made as a CEO. And the main thing is, was it scary? Of course it was scary, but was it worthwhile? It was. So I want you to really understand the power of connections and the power of networking and realize 
realize that it's so many people out there that actually want to help you. But if you are, you know, shortchanging yourself and you are hiding in plain sight, they have no idea how to help you. So I, I want you to kind of just Take a leap of faith, right? And again, like I said earlier, start with something small. Test yourself. Start with something small. Start collaborating, going to the networking events, and just be really particular in who it is you're trying to connect with. And I almost guarantee you a lot of success on the other side. So guys, I hope you found these insights on collaborating and really identifying collaboration opportunities super helpful because guess what? They can significantly, significantly, not only boost your revenue, but expand your business reach. Like you will be able to tap into a, a whole new audience, right? Because that's, this is what these guys have. So if you're looking to dive deeper into these strategies and more to help grow your business, guys, I invite you to join Raising the Ball Mentorship Program. In our program, we offer comprehensive training and tons of support to really help you grow your event business and not to mention achieve your goals. All you have to do is click the link that's in the description below. All right, guys, so I want to thank you for tuning in to Raising the Ball Podcast. And if you have enjoyed this episode, guys, you can simply let me know by subscribing to the channel. As always, this is your girl, Precious Stevens of the Posh Academy, signing off.